What is up, Flockers? That is my fellow Lockers and aspiring Lockers. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my 10 month update for my DIY braid locks and micro locks. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, this update is going to be super quick. I'm not going to waste your time or waste my time and try to squeeze something out that's not there. There have not been significant changes that have happened in the last month or two months. And so if you've watched my nine month update or my eight month update, then for the most part, I am still experiencing the same kind of things. I still have ends that have curly ends that have not locked up yet. I'm still getting swelling in different places and different locks. The back of my head is still locking the quickest and there's less braid pattern in the back than in the front because the ones that I did around the perimeter of my head, <clears throat> excuse me, are smaller and they are braided tighter than throughout the rest of my head. So I have more braid pattern up here in the front and on the perimeter than I do in the back hard for me to show you exactly because I can't even see what I'm showing you but like this one this one has a lot of frizz and fuzziness going on the end has a bit of a bulb thing on the end of it and it is closed up I don't know if it's going to eventually detach or if it will just pull itself in some of them detach some of them don't and just pull themselves in um, the biggest, I, I would say that the biggest change or the biggest progression that I'm noticing the most is honestly the length and it doesn't happen overnight, but you do really wake up one day and you're like, man, I, I feel the tickle on my neck. <laughs> I feel the tickle. I feel, look, 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 look. Y'all see that? Y'all saw that? But no, <laughs> all jokes aside, I do feel the weight and so when people talk about the drop of the locks and when your locks drop because my hair was already about this length in terms of when i did the braids but then there was shrinkage but there there wasn't the drop in terms of when you have super short locks that are starter locks and they stop sticking up my hair is never stuck up in that sense but as far as the drop of even when i lift my hair up like that before they wouldn't drop like this. They might stick out uh, and just, there's there's a drop that happens with your locks where they're heavier, they have more weight to them because they are maturing, because they are locking. And you already go from not having bad hair days to really not having bad hair days because you wake up like this. You might gotta do a little shake shake to get your locks together, but besides that, that's it. So, like I said, we're keeping this one super sweet, super simple. I will give y'all some close-ups of what my locks are looking like right now. And then I will give you the 360 so that I can compare it to month six, I think it is. So here's some close-up looks just so you can see. Again, the ones in the front are still maintaining a lot of the braid pattern so far, just because they are tighter. And you can see I still have a lot of curly ends, which every time I wash my hair, they seem to spring back up and pop up. So these in the front, <clears throat> yes, we do have a lot of braid patterns still going on, but when you get further in the back, you have less braid pattern, less line of demarcation, more frizz, more fuzz and the locks are forming beautifully. I'm happy with the progression of them. Even the ones that look like braids don't bother me because they just, I don't know. Even when I'm close up on them and I'm like, oh, I can see the braid, it doesn't bother me. Since day one, it's never bothered me. The line of demarcation has never bothered me. There's not that much difference of a look from the braid pattern to the Four, rotate, four point rotation pattern that I use. So it's always been pretty seamless to me. I like the way they look. I think they look bomb. <laughs> Y'all know they look bomb. So yeah, now that you've seen a close up, let me go ahead and do that 360 and 
yeah, maybe we'll have a side-by-side -side comparison of the 360 from, like I said, I believe it's month six. Don't quote me. I'll put it down there somewhere so that you know for sure if it is month six. But uh, yeah. And there you have it. 10 months into this micro lock journey, this do it yourself, who says do it yourself? This DIY braid lock journey. I'm loving it so far. I have loved every part of the process. I've embraced every part of the process and I love how my hair is getting thicker, how it's filling out from day one. I never had the plucked chicken look, but it definitely was a lot thinner and it wasn't as full looking. So I'm loving the fullness that it has, enjoying the drop, enjoying feeling it on my neck. Although sometimes I forget and I'm like, man, but they're, they're chilling on my neck, y'all. But yeah, looking forward to my one year coming up in a couple of months and to see how much my hair will grow between now and the two month mark. So, Oh, speaking of which, I almost forgot. I said I was gonna start doing length checks. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna take it to the root or the root for those that know. All right, so it looks like we're just, let's see, we're, we're a little bit below seven this time. So what is that? I'm trying to read it in the viewfinder. We got down to like seven and a fourth. Let me show y'all. Taking it to the root, to the scalp, and then taking the locks. And we're just sliding them down the length of the ruler or whatever this is, stretching them out, but not pulling. I mean, I'm stretching them, but I'm not over embellishing or anything like that. Where are we at? This one, that one I don't think has grown much. Somewhere between six and a half and seven. So we're going down, down, down. It popped out right there. So the back is coming in at a little below somewhere there we go, six and three fourths of an inch. So it seems like the back grew too. My hair grows differently all over um, at different rates, different speeds, but it seems like there has been a little bit of growth that has occurred over the past month. So that's cool. If you found today's video interesting and informative, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button to join the flock. And while you're here, go ahead and check out some of my other monthly updates from my lock journey as well as some of the other videos that I have on my channel. I'll see you over there.